Many of us have been to the TD Garden to enjoy a concert, Celtics, or a Bruins game. Each event has such a different look and setup that sometimes it's hard to believe that the 2008 NBA Finals and the 2011 Stanley Cup Finals were both played in this very same building. If changing over the arena sounds like a piece of cake, well, then you're wrong. Especially if it's a double header and the puck is scheduled to drop just hours after the sound of the final buzzer. Look at the clock. The clock is running. But before it hits zero, I better be done. Today, the crew of 50 people have less time than usual to convert the parquet over to the ice hockey rink. Basically, what we're doing is we call it a strike. Is that you're removing every other piece of equipment that's in the building right now from the parquet, from extra chairs, extra risers, into just turning over the ice. Once the chairs and risers have been removed, the parquet is separated into pieces and then stacked and stored out of sight. Each piece of the parquet weighs about 250 pounds. The strike is always easier, so it's just moving pieces out instead of pulling pieces in. Think about it is when you're putting the basketball in, there's a lot extra equipment that you're bringing in, and they have to go precisely in a certain order. When you're striking it, you could actually allow yourself to make a mistake, and it will take something out out of sequence, and you still can get away with it, because it's not precise. As another time saver, the crew will start installing parts of the rink while the parquet is still being broken down. At the same time, uh, you will notice they will have crews starting putting up the glass, converting the benches into the players' benches that you normally see on a hockey game. With less than an hour to go, the mats covering and protecting the ice are removed panel by panel. Once the ice is uncovered and all the equipment is in place, the Zamboni smooths over the ice and the TV garden is ready for game time. Today, the crew is especially proud of their work as they have set a new record for fastest changeover, officially beating their previous record of 2 hours and 16 minutes by an impressive 7 minutes and 24 seconds. But if you think the crew is done until tomorrow, well, wrong again. The double headers are unique. There you have them maybe from a half a dozen a year or so. so. The others is just on a daily basis, you're basically flipping. So anytime you have a show or a game, you are converting to the next game that evening. For example, tonight, we'll convert this back again into rock and roll, because we have Bob Seger tomorrow. Tomorrow night, we will convert right after Bob Seger into a basketball, because we have a Celtics game at 1 o'clock on Sunday. Whether you are visiting the TD Garden to catch a game or a show, you can be sure that the hardworking crew will have the arena ready to go.